The first charity I want to tell you about is Little Kids Rock, which I was the, blessed to be the West Coast Chair of for many years. Um, I love this charity. At one point, we were the number one nonprofit charity in America. Um, we actually were in over 25 states. We have over 500,000 kids in the program. And what Little Kids Rock does is we go into um, the lower income school, the AS, USD school systems, and we, for free of charge, we create music programs for the children. We then give each child um, a guitar, a drum, a piano, in the hopes that they stay in music school five days a week after regular school lets out. It's a shame right now that a lot of people want to cut arts programs from schools. And it's unfortunate because the statistics have proved that children that are able to enjoy any kind of arts program, their brains open up. They graduate high school more. They go to college more. They have a different way of thinking. They have a different way of interacting. Their social skills become much better. So people think, oh, it, it's just playing an instrument. It's not playing an instrument. It's so much more than that. And it shouldn't just be given to the privileged few. It should be given to all these children. So the second charity I want to talk about that I came up, you know, upon about two years ago is a charity called We Care Solar. It was formed by a remarkable woman named Laura Stachel, who actually became CNN's hero. Um, what she did was, after an injury um, in delivering a baby, she was told she probably wouldn't be able to deliver again. She was a doctor. And not wanting to rest on her laurels, she decided to go to a third world country and kind of be a Doctors Without Borders. And when she was there, she discovered that a lot of mothers die because there's no light. And in those third world countries, dark means death. And so she wasn't able to even comprehend, as most of us aren't, that most of these operating tables are steel beds with no light in small rooms, and doctors are just not able to, let alone operate, that they, they can't even use medical devices. So Laura was able to come back, speak to her husband, who was putting solar suitcases onto roofs, and together they came up with a solar suitcase. And one suitcase, which costs no more than $5,000, will light an entire operating facility for up to five years. And it will allow doctors to have usage of sonogram machines and heart defibrillators and anything that's necessary that we just take for granted in the countries we live in. I got involved with a group called Lincoln Park who started a charity called Music for Relief. And they're really interesting. Um, they would galvanize various rock artists and the fans and they would raise money incredibly quickly for disaster relief. And they've helped countries like Zimbabwe and Africa, the Philippines, places that there's tsunamis and hurricanes, Haiti with its recent earthquake. Um, they're amazing because they don't wait. They galvanize the fans, they galvanize the other rock stars, they come in quickly. You know, they raised, I think, God, $9 million last year alone just to donate whatever they could to help whoever they could as quickly as they could. When people first hear about Cindy or meet her and they find out she's this successful businesswoman, producer, entrepreneur, um, and she's absolutely gorgeous, she has no reason to be as friendly and generous and and giving as she is, as charitable as she is. I mean, she is just so incredibly warm and genuine, and she has such a, 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 a real, genuine love for the human race. She just wants everyone to be as happy and successful and, and prosperous as she is. Mm -hmm.